Thank you, Peter, for that. You are listening to the Gazette Radio Hour with Doug and John. Mm-hmm. I, I'm, in, I'm in the prisons of greatness because that was really cool. That was cool. I mean, I felt sorry for the pedestrian that got hit, but... All right, we're waiting for our sports director, Tim Haddock, to come on. Talk a little bit of high school basketball. Let's let's talk a little football. Football. football? Let's talk football. Okay. We did the uh, entire, we did the the picks after I took a beating during the regular season. Right. But uh, I'm I'm doing doing pretty good. I saved saved myself for the playoffs. It's one round, John. I saved myself for the playoffs. Don't gloat. I'm saving myself for the playoffs. And, Doug, if I didn't gloat, I wouldn't be talking. (laughs) I have so much to gloat about. <laughs> I tell you what, though, those playoff games last for Wild Card oh. Weekend. Those were some good games, my friend. What about the national championship game? That Seriously? Was, yes, that was excellent. We won't even talk about that. Yeah. Uh, 28. Oh, just absolutely hideous. And I think those two teams, Auburn and Florida State, were very evenly matched. It could have gone I, either way. You know something? I think uh, I think Florida State was the better team, is the better team. Not I think, by much. Uh, not by much. Not by much. But I think that, that Auburn... Has a much better coaching system and and, and plays a tougher schedule. It makes it easier to play I- at, on that stage. Yep. But all right, I think we have our source director, Mr. Uh, Tim Haddock, on the line. Timmy, are you there? I'm here, guys. How you doing? Hey, how you doing? Hey, we wanted to talk a little bit about because doesn't league play start for high school uh, boys basketball next week? On uh, Tuesday, yes. Okay. Tuesday, it's time, huh? So we're yep. we're we're not really a football. We're like I guess we're like US or USC. We're not really a football. District, are we? What are you trying I mean, to say, I mean, John? Bas- we're not really a basketball district, are we? We're not. No, it's we're, like it's like we're not a basketball I don't school. Know. What do you think, Tim? No, I mean, actually, I was thinking about this. You know, uh, a couple of days ago, I saw that um, Louis Stallworth from Hart signed uh, to play at, U- at UTEP, University of Texas El Paso. Yeah. And you know, they're thinking. You know, UTEP isn't exactly the the college basketball powerhouse, but um, not many kids from. Santa Clarita from the Fidel League actually go play it, even Pac-12 basketball. So, so whenever a kid goes and plays at a Division One level, at an NCAA level, it's, it's it's big news. Yeah, for college for a basketball player anyway. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. I, I just think I just think that sometimes we get so caught up in the Hart Valencia Canyon football rivalry that we kind of forget that there's some legitimate basketball players in, in Santa Clarita, especially the Foothill League. Um. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I guess you can say that. I mean, there, there, there's there's some good basketball. There's some good yeah. basketball teams, but um, I don't know the individual players, the talent. Like I said, it's very low, mid major, low level NCAA uh, yeah. caliber. Yeah. But one thing for sure, it is competitive within the league. Yes. Oh yeah. No. No. For, for the league is very competitive. All right. That, that's for sure. What I like to do, Tim, if we can, is like a team, real quick, team by team capsule analysis. Any order right. you want to do it. Sounds good. Where do you want to start? Go ahead. Oh, let's start with Hart. <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> why not? Hart, Hart um, j- just from looking at what they've done in preseason, Hart and Canyon look like the top two teams in the Foothill League. Um, Hart actually, Hart actually played a pretty tough preseason schedule. They actually got some decent teams to play in their own tournament, their own Hart Holiday Classic. Yeah. Like, um, you know, Village Christian being being the one team that was probably the best of them all, and they didn't even make it to the championship game. So. Um, so I think Hart's legitimate. Hart's won some decent games. He beat Rigetti. Rigetti has a, a kid who's been recruited by USC and a bunch right. of Pac-12 teams, so they have a really good player. But they're, they're like one-dimensional, though. They have one good guy and four pretty average guys. Right. But um, you know, Hart, Hart looks really good. Um, like I said, they won their own tournament. Um, I think they, they haven't lost since the second game of the season. They lost to Westchester in the uh, Trevor Ariza tournament. Um, to start the season, that was the second game of the year. So I think they have something like a twelve game, thirteen game winning streak going on. Um, just I mean, they're 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 a solid team. They're they're definitely going to be contending for the Fiddle League championship. How about Canyon? Canyon um, is another one. They've uh, they won their own tournament to start the season, but that was kind of a weak tournament. Um, but they did win the Ventura tournament as well. And that's pretty much that. That's a better. That's a more legitimate tournament. They have better teams, um, mostly from you know Channel League and, and the Ventura County area. There's some but, good teams um, up there. Yeah, no, no, that, definitely. Yeah. I mean, that, that that was a that was a good tournament win for them, um, and they have. I don't think they have a eleven game winning streak right now. They're fifteen and one. They've only lost one game, and it was by two points to Alamany in the San Fernando Valley tournament. So, I mean, they're okay. a good team too, and they have a solid, a solid big three. Yeah. How about they're Valencia? Three, Tim? Really good players. How about Valencia? Okay. Uh, Valencia is always good, um, but they just haven't clicked yet. Uh, they, they seem to have a lot of talent. I haven't seen them win. Um, a signature game yet? They haven't really made a deep run in a tournament during preseason, but there's another team too that's always really competitive. It should give Hart and Canyon bits, 
and you know they'll, they'll they'll be a decent team. I just don't know if they have enough to, to beat Harder Canyon this year. How about Saugus? Saugus may be at the bottom of the league. Saugus, you say, Saugus has the best tradition out here, but they don't have a really talented team. I guess is the best way to describe it. You know, they're I would say they're you know they're they're lacking in size and speed as compared to to Canyon and Hart. So, I don't know. They, they may have a hard time beating Golden Valley this year. And West Ranch? West Ranch, West Ranch is interesting because they've played one of the toughest preseason schedules. And they think they're 6-8. and eight. They have a losing record. But when I was reading, six of the teams they've played so far this year are ranked in the top 25 in California. Wow. wow. So, I don't think they've beaten any of those teams, but they're playing really good competition. So, once Foot League season starts, they're going to be ready. I think they're going to win some games. I just don't know really how good they are because they've played teams that are way better than they are. Hmm. Yeah, completely out of their class. And Golden, how about Golden Valley, too? Golden Valley is funny. They they barely beat Trinity, and that's kind of a weird game. They played Trinity last night, and they won by two points. Wow. Now, Trinity is a good team. Trinity made it to the Division Six championship game last season and went to the Division Five state tournament. So, you know, they're not, you know, they're not bad. They were, <laughs> they're and, a good and, team. They were a young but, team last year, weren't they? So uh, they brought a lot. Of, they brought a lot of those players back. I thought. Yeah, they do. They have yeah. and they're, so they're, they have a lot of seniors this year. They have a lot of got a good players. They have three really good players, but that way, um, and you know they almost beat Golden Valley, which probably shouldn't have had that big of trouble with them. But I don't know. Golden Valley might be in like the same boat as Saugus. You know, where they yeah. they just don't have the talent, don't have the size or the speed to match up to some of the other teams in the Foothill League. All right, so we appreciate that, Tim, on Foothill League Boys Basketball. Can you hang sure. around over the segment, and we're going to go to the NFL. Sure thing. All right, dun, dun, Tim, dun. thanks. All right, you're listening to Santa Clarita's Hometown Station, the Gazette Radio Hour with Doug and John, AM 1220 KHCS. We'll be right back.